YSK if you lose traction on an icy road, don't go for the brakes. YYSK with the northern hemisphere being in the dead of winter. I have been seeing videos of cars sliding off the road or into other cars. As well as having my own car slide or fishtail a few times. When you're driving in the snow or on ice. And you lose traction. Don't immediately slam on the brakes. This will reduce your traction to zero as you slide uncontrollably. You want to create a slow deceleration. So what you should do instead is release the brake or accelerator. Attempt to keep your car straight. And then slowly ease on the brake if you can. If you feel like or hear you're slipping again. Release the brakes. Ultimately. If the fates decide so. There's not much you can do. But do your best to control the car. Also. It's not like the movies if you turn your car sideways. It doesn't gain magic stopping abilities. Skidding to a halt just before the cliff. You will go over. Don't panic and your chances of driving away increase exponentially. I heard that if you start sliding. You should turn your wheel in the direction that your car is moving. And not the direction that your car is facing. So that you have at least two wheels that can regain traction. Not sure if this is true. Someone fact check me. It depends on the situation. I had to hit my brakes hard to keep from sliding into the main road with heavy snow this morning. The abs kicked on and stopped the car. Also, downshift or disable overdrive to gain additional control torque and take advantage of engine. Braking. Don't be one of those people that brakes while going up hills. For manual cars shift down a gear. If your car has manual gears, use your engine brake let go of the accelerator and then gear down. The internal resistance of the engine will slow you down. Similarly, if you live in these conditions, buy top quality tires. Take care of them by having them rotated regularly and aligned when needed. Tire quality can mean the difference between staying safe on the road or crashing violently. Don't almost all cars have abs these days? Abs will keep you from losing control when braking. If you're driving on ice with no traction, have fun getting your car turned sideways in the first place. You can spin the wheel all you want. It's not gonna change what direction your car is going if you don't have any traction. Makes me very glad I don't live near any cliffs. I have also heard that if you are in an area safe to do so, it can be a good idea to add a little bit of gas at it I mean power. Press on the gas pedal slightly. Do not pour gas on the road or ice to hopefully regain a little traction and get you out of the icy patch. Although I realize this may not always be the safest or best option depending on conditions or what's around you. Back in college I almost drove off a bridge LMAO. I was extremely lucky I am an experienced driver. My entire rear kicked out and my car went basically sliding at a 45-50 degree angle. Made sure there was no cars behind me when I corrected and got control of the car luckily. But damn that would have sucked. What you should really be doing is shifting down and using the engine to brake. Probably not a LPT for the US as you mainly have automatic vehicles. But I can also change gears manually on my automatic car so maybe it still applies to a lot of people. Edit should obviously be brake instead of brake. Don't brake your engines. Good advice if you drive a 1985 Buick. Anti-lock brakes put an end to this thinking. They auto-pump your brakes giving you control to avoid a collision. You should slam your brakes on and continue to hold them down even when they go right to the floor. I drive in snow all the time and anti-lock brakes are one of the best safety features invented. I live in northwest Montana. So we know snow and ice driving. One important tool I use especially sliding downhill is to slip the car into neutral as I steer. And work the brakes. This stops the wheels from turning so you're not fighting the car's forward push. 
This tip has saved my car from kissing the ditch more times than I can count. It depends. Once in my life I did need to pull the emergency brake because the normal brake refused to work on. Ice and this prevented an accident. Nope. Turn into the skid and apply engine braking. This is the only safe way to save yourself from something more serious. Good advice if you're on a bike. But if you're in a car made after 1991 or so, it probably has ABS anti-lock braking system that can modulate the braking much faster than a human can. Feet off pedals. Steer into the the slide. Gradually apply brakes once traction has been achieved again. It's amazing how many people suck at winter driving in Minneapolis. Is this still true for modern abs? Tell me you're not Canadian without telling me you're not Canadian. If your car is newer than 2000 and is a reasonable model, it likely has abs and possibly stability control. Read up on these and learn your vehicle's capabilities. It might save somebody's life. Didn't get the stop before Cliff in 2017. True stuff here. It's ideal if you can use your gears to slow down in this situation. But it takes quick thinking reacting to change gears while you're sliding. But it works quite well. Consider practicing shifting into a lower gear in low stress situations so it's more habit. You can also downshift gears and help slow the car with the engine. Don't just slowly apply the brakes. Rather you should gently pump them. Alternate applying the brakes and releasing them. Also, turn in the direction of the skid to avoid spinning out. Follow the fishtail and look for snow for traction. But people in Alabama just can't help themselves. I mean there are also a number of decisions to make before you even get to that point. Avoid driving if conditions are bad. First of all, if you need to drive, then take it slow and drive in high gear. Those two things should help avoid 99 of all loss of control scenarios. So some of the comments saying they've mastered the fishtail just mean to me that they generally make poor decisions when driving don't be those people. Also don't forget turn your wheel in the direction that your back end is fishtailing. I use engine braking in my 4Runner by slipping into a lower gear automatic transmission. It saved me in a treacherous Utah whiteout when tapping brakes started a spin out. Put your transmission in a lower gear to control speed. There are so many people commenting on here who have no idea what they're talking about. Does the anti-locking brake system help at all? If you start sliding, don't forget to go, we slinden. Also put your car in neutral. On modern cars with advanced abs and stability systems, you should indeed push your brakes all the way to the floor and not remove your foot. Pumping or easing the brakes will work against you. The computer in the car knows which wheels are sliding and will compensate to maximize stopping. Power. In an older car without these systems. You are correct though. This is only true for cars with no abs. Abs basically pumps the brakes to regain traction. If you have a modern car you really should slam on the brakes to ensure that abs kicks in. Can someone explain how I can use the thing on the left side of my gear shifter to allow me to navigate up and down icy hills? I saw a video on it a while back but I couldn't figure out how it actually helped. My guy would take me to big empty parking lots in winter to practice control while sliding. Long winters here so you need to get comfortable with winter driving.